Hi Gemini, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of December 28th through January 3rd, 2016. So this is for Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and Gemini Rising Signs. So Gemini, Happy New Year. Let's see what this, this week has in store for you. I knew this this Queen of Cups was going to come out, Gemini. As I was shuffling, I kept seeing her. Okay, Two of Rods is that actually at the bottom of the deck, Gemini. So, Gemini, this is um, you know, you really holding the world in your hands, and this is you actually looking out upon the horizons and and seeing the different paths that you can take, Gemini. So, I really feel like this is going to be a very significant week for you, right? Right in the beginning of the year. This can be, you know, very very possible this can be you know many Gemini's you choosing a path that you would like to go down this is you choosing a direction um, for perhaps maybe some sort of new path or new beginning that you're setting out on right now and, and this is you pursuing it this is you taking those those steps towards your your new beginning or, or down your new path this is you taking all of those ideas and all of those plans and everything that that you've um, you know planned in the past in regards to this new path and, and this is you really executing all of them plans, plans and ideas and, and it's very beautiful very positive energy all right let's see very interesting cards again the I did see this Queen of Cups popping out quite a bit so I knew she wanted to come out um, this is actually the overall energy Gemini so I feel like, you know, this is going to be a great week for you. You're going to be very loving, very caring, very compassionate, and very intuitive. Um, you know, the Queen of Cups is very, very intuitive. She's she's highly sensitive. So I feel like, Gemini, you're going to be highly sensitive this week um, in regards to your intuition. is is going to be very strong this week. You're going to be, you know, maybe love is on your mind, or perhaps maybe love is in the air for some Geminis. Um, but you yourself, you're going to be very warm, very loving, very caring and compassionate. Um, in the beginning of the week, you might um, perhaps maybe um, from the previous week around Christmas time, you know, you might have felt a little overburdened in, in some way because I have the Ten of Rods here, which can be simply representing just a person working a lot. So perhaps, you know... You were getting some some holiday hours in at work, um, just to make some some extra money, and perhaps maybe for some Gemini's it was burden burdensome. Um, the Ten of Rods can it can simply come up when you are working a lot. Um, it also can come up when you might be a little stressed out. Perhaps you have too much on your plate. You have a little bit too much going on. And you might need to, to maybe like lessen your load a little bit. There is help around you that you can ask. Um, four and it will actually help with this but because it is a 10 the 10 of rods it is very temporary and it's it's it will be ending very soon um, this isn't something I feel like is going to be carrying on for the rest of the week I feel like this is just perhaps maybe coming in from the week prior with Christmas going on I feel like this can simply represent um, many Gemini's that just had a lot going on because, you know, with the overall energy of the Queen of Cups and then looking at the other cards here, Gemini, I think it's going to be a great week for you. I just feel like, you know, perhaps, um, you know, around uh, around the holidays, um, it, it can be a very sentimental time of year. And, you know, memories from our, our past come back. Um, you know, people that we, we might have lost um, in our past that are no longer with us, maybe to celebrate, um, you know, the holiday with them. You know, so many things can, can come up around Christmas time, so many feelings and energies. And for some, for some Geminis, you know, I have this Ten of Rods here and then directly underneath it, I do have this Three of Swords. So I feel like, you know, the, this could be simply representing for some Geminis an energy of you missing someone, um, whether that person has, has passed away or maybe just, 
you know, maybe it's a, it's a past relationship. Uh, maybe you're no longer with, with the person. And, you know, it might have been heavy on your heart, and that's why I have the Ten of Rods directly on top of the Three of Swords. Perhaps this is, you know, your heart was very heavy um, previously in the, in the previous week around Christmas time. Again, it's a sentimental time, and if you are single or you are alone, you know, it... it it can it can be a little hard. It can be difficult. Um, I don't feel as though there are going to be any Geminis that are suffering any heartache or anything like that this week. Um, as a matter of fact, the rest of your cards are, are beautiful. So I feel like this was probably, um, you know, because at the start of the week, it's the 28th of December. I feel like this is probably an energy that's that's been with you maybe from around Christmas time. Either you were very busy or perhaps maybe... You know, you're thinking about someone that's no longer with you and your heart is a little heavy at this time. Um, but I do think that you come out of this uh, pretty pretty quickly, Gemini, because, you know, this man here, I always look at how the cards interact with one another. He's looking directly at the Queen of Rods. And I really feel like, you know, this can very much be your energy. Um, the Queen of Rods is actually the opposite. So again, that's why I think you're you're coming out of this quite quickly. This particular Queen of Rods is very optimistic. She's fiery. She's driven. She's passionate. She's just got, you know, a very vibrant, beautiful energy to her. So she's very optimistic, which is the opposite of this. So I really, that's why I mainly feel like this is fading. And, and you're going to be, you know, very driven, passionate, creative, and just, um, very on the go and very happy for the rest of the week. Um, for some Geminis, this can be a person around you. Um, you know, your overall energy is the Queen of Cups. Um, so very much can be, for some other Geminis, it can be love on your mind. Um, and, and perhaps maybe this is a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries person around you, or just anybody with the Queen of, of Rods characteristics. For some of you, this can be a person you're thinking about, or this can be a person that is actually around you this week. Um, I do have the Two of Cups directly underneath the Two of Rods. So for some Geminis, this is probably your spouse, um, you know, and if you did have like some sort of, um, you know, heavy heart in some regard, um, this can be your spouse absolutely helping you with that, helping you overcome that. Uh, the two of two of cups can represent a a beautiful bond that you share with another person. It can be you know a spiritual connection or just a deep chemistry or a strong bond with another person. Um, and, and this is this is a beautiful card because it, it's reciprocated feelings. It's it's mutual feelings. So how you feel towards a particular person, they feel the exact same way um, about you. So. This can be your spouse for some Geminis. Um, and the Two of Cups can simply represent partnership. So if you're not in a relationship and you're not particularly meeting someone this week, which, you know, for some Geminis, you, you actually can be meeting someone this week. Um, this, this can just simply represent partnerships. And that can be friendships. That can be business partnerships. Um... This can be you growing closer or, or building your bond closer with another person in your life. And, you know, for many of you, it will be this Queen of Rods individual. Um, I, see you, I see you having fun, though, and, and celebrating this week. This is the week where we have New Year's Eve. So this is a very, um, you know, fitting card with the Three of Cups here. This is a very light card. It's a beautiful energy. You know, I just see you having fun with friends and family. Perhaps you're having some drinks. And you're just enjoying yourself. It's a very light energy. So this is, you know, a week where I feel like you're very happy. Again, you know, some of you might have had like a... A heavy heart but you come out of that you come out of that pretty quickly um, because directly underneath the three of cups I do have the nine of cups so you know again for those of you who are single and you, you are single and looking um, you know this could be an energy or a week that maybe perhaps you meet someone maybe you meet someone while you're actually out on New Year's Eve um, this this nine of cups can be like a wish card so for some Geminis, this can be like a wish coming true. 
And then for other Geminis, this is just simply representing you being very emotionally um, abundant. Your cups runneth over. Um, you're very happy. You're very fulfilled. You're very content. Um, and then I see right at the end of the week going into the following week, for many Geminis, this is actually really beautiful. I see some Geminis actually moving into a new home because I do have the Knight of Rods here and he can literally represent physically moving. And then directly on top of him, I have the Four of Rods. And this is my happy home card. So I think that for some Geminis, this is you physically moving into a new home. And you know, if so, this is going to be um, you know a place that makes you very happy. Um, this is a very stable environment, very secure, stable environment. You're going to be just very happy here. Um, and then other Geminis, I see you perhaps maybe having some, some you know, people over this week. This card can represent family gatherings or just having friends or family over, celebrating. Perhaps there are some Geminis that instead of going out this year to watch the ball drop or something like that, you're going to stay home. And you're going to have friends over. Um, the Three of Cups is, is just you celebrating, um, spending time with friends and family at your home with the Four of Rods here. This is you you guys just having a great time at your house. Um, and then other Geminis, you know, I definitely see this as, you know, this could be the week that you are moving. Um, you know, maybe it's a wish come true or maybe you've wanted to move for quite some time. Um... The Knight of Rods is, is you know, a very fast-paced energy. Things happen happening quite quickly. Um, so for those of you who are already in a partnership with the Two of Cups here, perhaps you're already in a partnership. You know, with the Four of Rods here and the Knight of Rods, this could be you actually, you know, moving to the next level within your relationship. Maybe you are buying a home together. Maybe you're moving in together. Or, you know, maybe you guys are just, you know, committing to each other this week. You're, you're just taking your, your relationship up a notch. Um, but overall, you know, I see this as a very beautiful week for you. I am going to draw you an additional guidance card just to see if there's anything else that Spirit would like to add. So please show me an additional message for Gemini. An additional message for Gemini. What else does Gemini need to know for this particular upcoming week? Please show me an additional message for Gemini. Ooh, okay, this card came flying out. Okay, and it is, Adriana, I am leading you toward the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. Wow, Gemini, and I'm not, I think it did pick it up on, on camera but I'm not positive um, as I was shuffling this card came flying out and my viewers already know that the cards that come flying out I find them to be the most significant so this card did come out fairly quickly and with the overall energy being the Queen of Cups that's that's immediately what I was picking up on is you know a lot of you are gonna be very sensitive your intuition is gonna be very strong this week and now you have Adriana so, you know, you are being divinely guided, you are being divinely led, whether this be, you know, with a new partnership, whether this be, um, you know, to a new home or where, you know, whatever this is for you this particular week, just know that you are being divinely led, divinely um, guided towards, you know, your destiny. This is saying, you know, I'm leading you towards the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I'm communicating through your intuition thoughts and dreams so you know there actually could be many Gemini's that this particular week you could have very vivid dreams um, you know just just please pay attention to your intuition your thoughts everything um, if you have a dream write it down if you can um, and then you know if you want to go back to sleep or whatever it is go back and, and read it later on because there can definitely be some messages um, you know in there um, but overall, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading, Gemini. And, you know, this card really just, um, yeah, it, it's beautiful. It shed a lot of light. So, Gemini, I do hope you enjoyed this reading, and I hope you have a wonderful week. 
take care.